Mm. Stop! Don't drink that! What's wrong? Whew. Just, uh, just trust me, give it to me. Okay? I overheard Sophia tell someone upstairs that she'd put salt in your sugar. Ugh, that saved me a nasty shock. Wait, wait, wait! Stop! What? What is it? You could have slipped on this and fallen down the stairs and broke your neck. Oof, I think you just saved my life. I'm off to work, see you later! Whoa, 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 hold up just a second. I've got kind of a weird feeling about this. I think someone's up to something. Why, what's the matter? Just let me go ahead of you, hang on a sec. Okay, why not? Thanks for saving me the embarrassment. Okay, you're welcome. What would I do without you? Good morning boys and girls. Well, a long time ago we started a series on the armour of God and we've only got two pieces left. I bet you can't guess what it is today. You might have noticed that in the clips at the beginning I was saved from all sorts of unpleasant situations. Salvation means to be saved from something terrible, some kind of harm or ruin or danger. And in the beginning I was saved from the nasty shock of drinking salty coffee from slipping on that banana peel and falling down the stairs and from getting to work completely drenched, which would have been very embarrassing, I'm sure. But in real life, we have a much more serious, a much bigger danger that we need saving from, and that is sin and its consequences, which is death. And the only thing that can truly save us is Jesus. So in the armour of God listed in Ephesians 6 verse 13 says to take up the helmet of salvation. So we've already talked about what salvation is, but why a helmet? Well, what does a helmet protect? That's right, your head. And what's inside your head? That's right, your brain. And your brain is very important, isn't it? It's where you do all of your thinking, controls your body, um, and we might call it our mind. That's what the Bible often calls it. So when the Bible talks about the helmet of salvation, it's talking about protecting your mind. If you're a Christian, you have already been saved, you've had that salvation from death and sin by Jesus on the cross. But your mind still needs protection. We all get discouraged, don't we? we? We sometimes feel like life is too difficult or that our sins are too great um, or that the enemy is winning. When we feel like that, we need to remember that the battle has already been won, that we've been saved by Jesus. When we feel like that, we can remind ourselves of the joy that salvation brings. Knowledge of salvation is the hope that will continually protect your mind from the enemy. Your hope must be built on Jesus alone in the salvation that only he provides. You cannot put your trust in anything else. It's the cross of salvation alone that will protect your mind. And if you're not a Christian, you are vulnerable. Your mind is not protected, you're in danger. You have nothing to save you from death, but your battle can be won by Jesus and the salvation that he provides. So take the helmet that he's offering you. And as you get up and go through your day, you don't have to feel discouraged. The battle has been won by Jesus. He has saved his people. So all we need to do is to remember to put on the helmet that he gives us and to trust in his salvation alone. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.